Stanley Osmond Machali was born on the 17th of January 1940. He is a South African poet. Machali studied at the Columbia University. Before becoming a poet, Machali worked as a messenger in Soweto. Later on in his life, Machali became an educator after his success as a South African poet. The poem is a critical, almost cynical look at life in the white city Jabalu, which is inside Soweto. The poem is characterized by graphic imagery. The images are meant to shock. The imagery is used to paint visual pictures for the reader. The powerful visual impact instills in the reader a strong feeling of disgust for the dreadful conditions under which people live there. <laughs> the morning mist and chimney smoke of white city Javavu flowed thick yellow as pus oozing from a gigantic saw. It smothered our little houses like fish caught in a net. Scavenging dogs draped in red bandanas of blood fought fiercely for a squirming bundle. I threw a brick, their bared fangs flickered velvet tongues of scarlet and scurried away, leaving a mutilated corpse, an infant dumped on a rubbish heap. Oh, baby in the manger, sleep well on human dung. Its mother had melted into the rays of the rising sun, her face glittering with innocence, her heart as pure as untrampled dew. This poem is a free verse poem. A free verse poem has some characteristics such as repetition, alliteration, assonance, and imagery. In this poem, the poet makes use of a few alliterations such as morning mist, bandanas of blood, and fought fiercely. The function of alliteration is to emphasize on a particular particular point to make it stand out. This poem also has no rhyme scheme, which therefore makes it a free verse poem. Enjambment is also exhibited within this poem. Enjambment is the running on an idea from one line to another. In this poem, there is the use of parentheses, such as the dash, which adds unnecessary information, but enhances the description being made with this additional information. The poet has chosen a free verse poem to interpret it in the way he sees what's happening, like storytelling. The poet's intention was to shock readers, and Charlie wanted also wanted to also show the world how black people suffered during apartheid in South Africa, and about their living conditions inside the townships. His mission was for the nation to take action and do something about the disgusting conditions which people had to live in. In this poet, the in this poem, the poet makes use of figures of speech, such as metaphors, similes, and alliterations. I'll be talking about some of the metaphors and similes that are in this poem. Velvet tongues of scarlet. This is a metaphor where the poet is making comparison to the dog's tongues of velvet. Velvet is soft and the dog's tongues are covered in blood of the babies. The poet also makes use of um, the color scarlet, which is dark red. This creates vivid imagery. Another metaphor that is illustrated in this poem is its mother had melted into the rays of the rising sun. The poet is saying that the mother had disappeared in the direction of the rising sun, as if she is, if she is on her way to someplace new. Similes are also shown in this poem where the poet is making a direct comparison, for example, as pus oozing from a gigantic soul. The intention of the simile is to make a point that this whole situation is sick. Another one is like the fish caught in a net. The comparison is indicating how the people living in Jababu were being smothered by the pollution surrounding them. The other simile is her heart pure as untrampled dew. This portrays the mother as an innocent child that doesn't know better than abandoning a baby. The mother is a victim of the circumstances she is living in and that she had no other choice but to abandon her baby. The tone of the poem is, is the author's feelings towards his poem. His tone in an abandoned bundle is disgusting sadness towards people's living conditions. Thank <laughs> you.